generally, as a research scientist, I think of a healthy pregnancy as one that is 40 weeks long, and the baby has no birth defects, it's within the range of a normal weight, and it has regional APGAR scores, which are a test that they administer to the baby after birth to make sure it's breathing correctly. Um, for pregnant women, you should be able to engage in normal activities during pregnancy, and you shouldn't feel anything outside of your normal discomfort that comes with like, carrying a baby. And the reason is it's very important to both the mother and the infant to have a healthy pregnancy. For the mother, we want to talk about um, having like good quality of life and avoiding pregnancy complications such as preeclampsia or gestational diabetes because these things can raise your blood pressure and cause unhealthy pregnancy complications that might um, cause problems as you deliver and then later on after delivery. For the baby, it's really important that the baby's delivered healthy because it's a reflection of, you know, the developmental period and having adequate growth. And also, we really want to have the baby avoid the NICU, the neonatal natal intensive care unit. Um, if your baby gets put in the NICU, it's a very heavy burden on caregivers, like your parents. It's also very expensive. For example, for preterm birth alone, the NICU care for that is $26.2 billion in the US alone. Also, pregnancy outcomes are really important for your baby's later life health and have been associated with a variety of child health outcomes through the developmental origins of adult disease theory. Um, this includes things like childhood behavior um, and developmental outcomes, such as like adjustment to um, entering preschool, like um, behavioral conditions at like 10 or 12. And then it's also associated with different later life health outcomes. And this can include things like specific psychiatric diseases, and it also includes things like heart disease, obesity, and now researchers are even finding links between the prenatal environment and things like dementia or Alzheimer's. So there's a, you're kind of setting the baby stage for like later life health.